All right, we are we are live. What is up, guys? Coming back here, showing you how to download the Rico Theta Z1 Stitcher app. This time for Mac. We're on a Mac right now. If you want to check out how to download the Stitcher app for the Rico Theta Z1 for PC, I posted a video a couple days ago. You'll see it on the channel a couple videos back on how to download it for uh, Windows. Now we're going to do it on the Mac tonight for my friend Quetzi. I hope I'm pronouncing that right, Quetzi. Uh, I saw you on the Facebook group. Uh, and we'll help you out a little bit here today. So just go into the support.theta360.com. You can just type in Rico Theta Stitcher app um, or Rico Theta Stitcher. You're going to see the Z1 here. We're going to scroll all the way down to Mac, and we're going to download that. It's going to pop up down here. We're just going to go through the installation process, agree to all of this, and install. All right, installation was successful. Cool. So now we're going to bring it over into Lightroom. Um, you have to be using Lightroom Classic. You can't be using just Lightroom. This only works in Lightroom Classic. So what we're gonna do here, I have an example photo right here. We're gonna right click, edit in. Now it should pop up right here, but what we are going to do here is go to Hold on, I gotta expand this window. We are going, where is it at? Preferences, here we go on Mac, it's a little different. You're gonna go to Lightroom Classic, go to Preferences, then we're gonna see Additional External Editor. So actually the Rico Theta Stitcher just popped up for me, but if it's not popping up here for you, and it should look like this Rico Theta Stitcher, you're gonna go to Choose, we can go to, well, we deleted it, um, but here you can see it was the disk. We downloaded it. It should just pop in automatically. Um, and then I'm going to create a preset, save current settings as new preset. Now I'll just call it Rico Stitcher. Create. We'll get out of that. So now when we right click, Edit in, it'll come up right here, Rico Stitcher. Edit a copy with Lightroom adjustments. Yes, we want to do that, so we can save the original file. It's preparing file for editing. Cool, it is now possible to save three presets. Awesome. So once you, once you right-click and click your preset, you're going to want to wait for this window to pop up. And then from there, you're going to click OK. And boom, you have a stitched photo um, for your Rico Z1. Hopefully, this helps out Quetzi. Um, and thank you guys.